Toho salmon in the Russian River were really close to extinction um, back in the early 2000s and so this whole conservation hatchery program started to try to bring coho back. California Sea Grant's role in this whole recovery effort has been to monitor the coho salmon. What we're out here doing today is part of a study where we're looking at how well they survive over the summer season. So yeah, we're gonna go back and fish that big pool that you guys had to walk through to get up here. That'll probably take a while. <laughs> so we've been conducting monthly sampling here in Mill Creek for survival and also to characterize habitat and water quality conditions. And today we've actually just finished conducting an electrofishing survey. And this gives us really important data on the over summer growth of these fish. <laughs> oh, oh my god, more netters up we here. Need <laughs> okay, we got more. Coho salmon are a critical part of the Russian River watershed. And this watershed and the ecosystems within it evolved for millions of years with coho salmon and they provide a very critical ecosystem service of bringing nutrients back from the ocean to these inland areas and they literally feed our forest here. And studies have shown that trees grow faster, forests grow bigger, and there's actually even the mammals, the terrestrial mammals, grow better with coho salmon feeding these ecosystems. So it's really important to know whether these are fish are surviving in the wild, whether they can migrate out to the ocean, and whether they return as adults. And so that's what we're doing. We're out there looking at whether fish are surviving and um, counting how many come back. There's been some really great um, successes in the early part of the program. You know, we're, we're seeing smolts migrate out to the ocean, we're seeing adults coming back and spawning in the tributaries that they were stocked in when they were juveniles. We provide all of this information back to the resource agencies that are making decisions about um, how to improve the program. And then we also are providing this information to hundreds of landowners who live on these creeks and, and have an interest in what happens with the coho salmon. If we can restore these streams to the point where coho are able to survive, then it's benefiting a lot of other species as well. 